Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing an interesting problem that is column name from a given column name. So hi, I'm Siddharth Hazra. Let's move forward. So let's talk about the feedback of this problem. This problem is a kind of variation of a very standard problem. And if you are able to detect the pattern, just a small observation, then you are done for this problem. Else, this problem would be little bit very difficult to crack down. Okay. So, this problem tells us that the given values, okay, the given values are something like this that is A, B, C, D, and dot, 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 Z. And after that, it is A, A, then A, B, and then A, C, and then dot, 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 A, Z. Like, let me remove this. A, Z. After this, this would be again B, A, then again B, B, then again B, C, and dot, 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 B, Z. And then again C, A, C, B, C, Z. This is how. It would proceed. So now you need to tell that let's say at position 28 what would be the value. Okay. So now what you can think of is I would start making this instance. I would start making this and then things would at the end when we would come to that point let's say the value is 4 when we would come to the point 4 and we would give you that but at this point at instance you should see the constraints when you see the constraints the value is 10 to the power 18 even though the expected time complexity is not given you should see the constraint 10 to the power 18 so if we start from 1 and we go till the value of 10 to the power 18 you would we would get a TLE why because in one second the time time frame is 10 to the power 8 10 to the power 18 that is absolutely not possible so now if you write this down only you have a little bit of sense i would tell you what the thing is if i just tell you that instead of this so now you need to think of that i need to directly land at that position i can't iterate and go till that position Okay, so it's just a simple scenario that if the traveling time is like, let's say tomorrow uh, tomorrow morning, I want to reach at, let's say Jupiter. Okay, let's say tomorrow morning, I want to reach at Jupiter. Time frame is not allowed because Jupiter, it would take around two or three days to reach Jupiter. So I should think of that, how I can directly jump and kind of I can be, I can directly land at Jupiter without the traveling time. So in the same manner, I need to think of a way where I can directly jump off to that particular string. So I just see you as instead of this A, visualize it as zero. Okay, not as zero, visualize it as one. Visualize A as one. Similarly, B as two and C as 3. You would see a difference in this. The difference is 1, 2, 3, 4, dot, 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 dot. This would be 26. This would be again 1, 1. Then this would be 1, 2. This would be 1, 3, dot, 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 A. And then this would be 26. This is again 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, dot 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 this would be 226 again now it seems simple so now what you really can do is you that in that see the two to the two base the number base 10 we have this number system in the same manner this is nothing but 26 base what we really have in our real time like in our number system we have something like 5 6 7 8 9 and then again we hit 10. Okay, again we hit 10. Again we hit 11. Again we hit 12. Like this, this is the number system that we talk about. This is 0 to 9. Then this is again 10, 
this is 11 this is 12 this is 13 so this is base 10 so it is nothing but base 26 okay so let's say if we are given something like let's say 28 okay or let's take a bigger number let's take 3 2 3 how do we have this value so what we really do is 3 2 3 modulo 10 first we would have 3 then again modulo 10 then again we would have 2 then again so this would be something like this let's say 3 2 3 modulo 10 that would be 3 then divide this number by 10 that would be 3 2 again modulo 10 we would write 2 here again modulo 10 we would write 3 here if we multiply this this would be 3 2 3 let's take a bigger number so let's say the value is 2 4 3 so if we want to have the value what we would really do is we would do something like 2 4 3 divided by 10 okay first we would take the modulo that is 3 divided by 10 this number would be converted to 2 4 then again modulo 10 that would make it 4 again divided by 10 that would make it 2 again modulo 10 that would make it 2 then reverse it that is 2 4 3 so b in base 10 we are dividing it by 10 okay taking the modulo by 10 and then at, at the end we are reversing we would do the same thing instead of this we would take modulo 26 we would divide it by 26 at the end we would reverse this the same thing we have done here same thing this is just like base 26 and this would be nothing but a added to 0 okay b a added to 1 would make it b and a added to 2 would make it c so we just need to add the modulo value to the given character and that would solve the purpose so now let us move to the implementation and that would make more sense so we need to return a string that is answer and we would initialize it with an empty string and then we would say while n is greater than 0 so we would say first n minus minus okay why because here here in 1 to 3 it starts from 0 but here it starts from 1 that is why we just decreased it then we would set temp like tp okay and tp is equals to n modulo 26 whatever the value is coming up we would say answer plus equals to that particular character added to what this tp value and that would be a plus 0 this is where i have shown you a plus 0 would be a a plus 1 would be b a plus 2 would be c and that it solve the purpose and after this instance it would be n divided by equal to 26 okay at the end we need to say reverse the whole string reverse rest dot begin comma rest dot end and then return answer this would be not rest this would be answer now let us see how many errors are we making okay seems like no error is being made okay so this is working perfectly fine and talking about the time complexity it is each time we are dividing the given number by 26 so this is log n okay so that's it for today thank you and have a nice day